itchy aftermarks. They just give you rabies. Just give you fucking gashes and bloody <laughs> yeah. and holes in your fucking yeah, yeah, situation. And then, you, and then they gotta put the dog down. Like, well, so I'm not like that killing kind of dogs. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> well, you gotta put the mosquito down too. Oh, oh absolutely. Every every time. mosquito live. Every time. I don't know. Walking around with my blood in their bellies. That's retarded. It's my blood. Yeah. Yeah. What if they gave you AIDS? That's how they they clung to me. What if they became. What if they're like a flying sperm? They get my blood. And then they fly into, like, I don't know, something crazy, like a woman's vagina. And then, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you they think, have a baby. You think... Oh, right it looks like there. me, and a mosquito. You think mosquitoes are capable of cloning? I think if... I think you're talking about in vitro fertilization. Yeah, because what you described is just sex, man. No, but I mean, if it would be a, still a clone of me. No, it would be no, actually no. It would have. It would be half of. So you're girls saying if you had a child, dead. if you had a child, via regular old vaginal sex with a lady, yeah, then that's a. You think that's a. That's clone? not. I don't think mosquito flying into a woman's vagina is regular old. But sex. it's got your DNA slash semen whatever situation in it. Yeah, it's true. All right, are we recording? Not this? my semen, just my blood. You know, I've had something stuck in my head all week. This little ditty. <laughs> That I just song. cannot wait to hear again. <laughs> it's the Hat Club for Movies. Hat Club for Movies. Do something movies. It's a Hat Club for Movies. Alright. Alright, that, that'll that's about as good as it gets. And if you donate to our show, we'll eventually pay for Drew B's piano lessons. Oh, you mean I pay for me to? If you, and ironically, if, if you hair if you donate to our GoFundMe account, then I Drew will give you lessons. I will teach you how to play the Hair Club for Movies theme song. You know what? I like GoFundMe way better than Kickstarter. We need to start GoFundMe. Yeah, because competition to Kickstarter. Because I think GoFundMe is real. It is. Yeah. That's no. the most obnoxious name. No, but it's better than Kickstarter. I thought you were being legit. Holy shit, that that's go, real. Go, go fund, fund me. me. At least it's straightforward. <laughs> no, it's more. It's so. It's like give me money because I don't know. Well, what that's the, what that well, sounds go, like. They, they usually have some sort of presentation. The I'm thing sure. about like, GoFundMe, Jesus. aside from a diff, that's different than Kickstarter, is GoFundMe. You you get the money, no matter what. Kickstarter, you have to achieve. A certain amount of money, like you have to reach a goal in order, to, and if you don't reach that goal, you get nothing. Yeah. But if you if your goal is five hundred dollars on GoFundMe and you only make three hundred, you get it. Yeah. So it's it's legitimate. Hey, uh, hey, give me money, please. Go fuck me. Go fuck me. Okay. Come come and just inside me because you know. Welcome I to the Hair Club going. for Movies. I am one of your hosts, Drew B. I don't think we're hosts yet. Dot com. Yeah. What else would we be? <laughs> we're participants. The contestants. <laughs> yeah, we're contestants. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, another one of your hosts, Michael. And uh, I'm Andrew, and welcome to Act 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called fucking Act 3, okay? <laughs> if I say it, it does. Alright, so... This week, Ugh. on the Hair Club, we watched... Well... Two of us watched. Two of us watched the comedy, starring Tim Heidecker, Eric Wareheim... Greg Turkington, the guy, guy from, from LCD, LCD Sound, Sound Systems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you knew all about that. Name. Couple I, watched, I watched Reservoir Dogs last night because I was in the mood for it. And then after I went to bed and woke up this morning, I was like, oh, that should have been the comedy. You're like the kid. So you didn't. We didn't <laughs> I had time, time to watch morning. the movie. I had time oh to watch God. the movie and I fucking forgot. And I watched and you an know awesome what, movie. Whatever you pick next week, I'm not watching it. This is a no, second, you're watching This it. is a second <laughs> episode. Yeah, oh, I think it goes with that saying that I also don't have a quiz ready because... What? Oh, my. I have the movie, though. You have, have to come movie. up with a quiz. I will. I will come on up with a quiz. On the fly. I will come up with a quiz. I got a fun. God damn it. Okay, so... The wheels are falling off here. How should we do this, then? Or should we, it's a spoiler cast. It's full of spoilers. Yeah. And, uh... Mm-hmm. For me. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well... You guys can work around this. Maybe, like, you know, fuck with me. Talk about you stuff that didn't happen in the movie. Well, the comedy is probably the funniest movie I've seen in decades. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's full of slapstick humor, um, full of, you know, just jokes. Yeah, Family-friendly jokes. Real, uh, Bill Murray's in it, right? It's got a real Bill heartwarming in it. message. Steve Martin. Dan mm-hmm. Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. You know, it's good fun. You know, uh-huh. kind of like a la The Jerk or uh, your... Uh, 
mm, Naked Gun. Yeah. Um, Don Rickles too, right? Don Rickles. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. And of course, uh, Eric Wareheim. Eric Wareheim. And that's the lie. And Tim Heidecker. Tim, Tim Heidecker. Yeah. So yeah, Michael, what did you think about it? Since I this is, I, uh, I had seen this before. Unbeknownst to me, I actually started to watch this movie at some point in the past and stopped after about 20 minutes. Because you know what? That happens with a lot of movies. Due to my Netflix uh, Crash everlasting memory of really? things I've Oh, it just hit right. oh. yeah. when it yeah. resumed. It was like, yeah. oh yeah, five years ago. Do you know um, why you quit? You stopped watching it? I, after rewatching it, I think I know why. Because I saw the trailer. The movie's called the comedy, uh-huh. and I thought there would be more jokes. <laughs> well, there there are there are a lot of jokes. They're just not jokes to the audience. They're yeah. jokes to the people in you yeah. know because they're so fucking jaded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, but I did like it. I uh, I think the first half is a little slow. It's all really slow. It's a lot of long shots. A lot of there's hardly any score except for like some weird piano themes. Yeah. And a lot of just, like, following people. Yeah. There's hardly really anything that happens. Yeah. The there's not really a plot. It's just this yeah. guy that... Looks like I dodged a bullet. ...is jaded. No, it's... <laughs> it, it doesn't... It doesn't... It's not, like, slow. It doesn't feel slow. Because yeah. it's... Shit happens, you yeah. know? Yeah. And it's, it is funny. It's fucking weird and funny. Yeah. Yeah. At times. Other times it's like, I can't fucking believe this is happening in front of my face. <laughs> really? There's is a it? scene... The last... Like, the last real scene... Yeah. ...is... So Tim Heidecker, okay, yeah. synopsis. Tim Heidecker yeah. is uh, a wealthy, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Right, he's like the wealthy son of yeah. a, a guy that's heir, on his deathbed. Yeah, trust fund. his dad's dying. There's a scene where he's sitting watching his, this male nurse take care of his dad, who's basically comatose. Uh-huh. And he's just like making butthole jokes, like you, you wipe, so you wipe my dad's ass. <laughs> you know what a prolapse anus is. You know what a prolapse is? anus is. Yeah. And the guy just doesn't <laughs> say anything, just staring at him, like you. you that's realize? a common reaction to his hijinks. He's just people film. staring at him, like you're yeah. not funny. He just he's just trying to get the the. the he's so jaded that he has to find everything funny, even yeah. if it's not funny. Yeah. Like his friends, there's a group of friends that just sit around and like t- say a really uh, heartfelt shit, but it's a joke. Like you guys mean so much to me. <laughs> you make my heart feel ha- whatever. Like yeah. and it's like they're saying it as a sarcastic joke because they don't. They're like jaded fucking mm-hmm. Williamsburg hipster fucks yeah. yeah. that are like you know silver spoon. Yeah, you know whatever. They just get to judge everything. Yeah, but the last scene, spoiler, fucking is he gets he lives on this houseboat. He also lives on a houseboat and a mansion, whatever. But he has his houseboat. Yeah, and he takes girls back and has sex with them or whatever. And uh, this one girl, he meets and she works at the restaurant or whatever. And she goes back and they're like smoking pot. And then out of nowhere, she just starts having a seizure. Like a really a real seizure, serious seizure. Yeah, and he's just drinking fun. whiskey or whatever, just staring at her like, just it's like a fucking minute long thing. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Jeez. And he's just sitting there, just like blank faced, like watching her, doing nothing about it. Jeez, oh, <laughs> golly! Oh my goodness! <laughs> and then they then it cuts, and then they they the next morning or right afterwards, he's just driving her back on on his boat, and they don't say anything. Oh, she didn't die or anything. No, it was just like. I had a painful experience. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Let's have sex. She Mike, didn't even seem angry. She was probably really She was really, that. yeah. And Michael thought she I'm was so having... I'm uh, neither of you acknowledge what I just said. What did you say? Keep going. No, Repeat I'm not going to say it again. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you must. It's well, probably the worst thing I've ever said. Wouldn't it be I great if we had recorded this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go back and... <laughs> yeah, so we should restart because I've <laughs> no, been no, no, recording no, no, the whole time. No, listen. I, uh, I said after her, she had her seizure, uh, they could have sex and she'd probably be really tight after that. Oh, no. Yeah. Be tight? Because of she was doing yeah. involuntary Kegels? Just like the muscle spasms might have, you know, caused her to... Yeah. That's horrible. It's even worse. It's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> we got to find a new All right. person. Listen, I'm trying to follow better. suit with this dark comedy. I decided to say something extremely fucked up. Well, maybe if you watched and it, let then it you, would have, comfortably. you would know... Something to say other than you know than just horrible things. Yeah, that's all I can contribute really. I okay, just, you know, from for future reference, I'm probably only going to say fucked up things this whole podcast. All right. Well, yeah. 
But it's not like... At least we know what we're in for. <laughs> it's not like... It's not like it actually happened. This is a fiction. Didn't it? No, it didn't. It didn't, actually. Hmm. Are yeah. you commi- Are you, like, admitting to something right now, and you just don't want to... I'm admitting to to what you told me made me think of a fucked up thing. That's what I'm admitting to. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. It does sound like a funny movie, though. <laughs> well, this is going to be a short podcast. Yeah. What? The, uh, Come on, let's, we got to use our creativity here. I thought the uh, the end was pretty good. More yeah. optimistic than I expected. Yeah, I guess I'm watching it again. I just watched it this morning, so. Did he again. win? Again. Huh? Did he win? Did he win? <laughs> That's a legitimate question. There is nothing to win. I mean, he had There's money, really- right? To get? No. To get the money? That's not even relevant. <laughs> they don't even mention it. You just realize He it. should be thinking about it, though, at least. I mean, if he gets that money or not. That's the thing. He should be reali- thinking about other things. But all he's focused mm-hmm. on is trying to, like... Yeah, at one point, he runs out of water on the boat, and instead of... I'm sure he has the money to go get more water. Mm-hmm. There's probably, like, a big tank. I don't know how boats work. <laughs> you just buy it, it Yeah, you probably just fill up like your water reservoir on Some the boat. bottles or something. And instead he just brushes his teeth at the dish tank because he gets a dishwasher job. Yeah. yeah. He gets a dishwashing job just because, because. Yeah. Because he thought it would be amusing. Oh, he's And that's where he meets the girl that has a seizure. Ah, uh, I see. So this guy's kind of like a villain. Um, he, he, I don't hate him. A villain unto himself. He's just, he's a sociopath. Sociopath. Right, I mean. I don't know if he, I wouldn't go that far. I just think he, uh, he's incapable of, well, maybe that sounds like a sociopath, incapable of emotion at this point. Yeah. But I think he is a product of the world, not as much like he was born a sociopath. How about he's incapable of, like, making himself happy or, like, ever being happy? Well, he's kind of uh, chasing the dragon, right? Uh So, like, he probably, he probably wasn't like this his whole life. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. But he probably, you know, got a dick, you know, kind of addicted to, like, fucked up humor. Yeah. But that's what I was saying last time, uh, like, how I felt, like, it, like, resonated with me because uh-huh. I feel like that sometimes like I know a lot of yeah, people we, who are, oh, all are of us very I, comfortable with like never being happy and like yeah making putting them putting themselves in situations where like they're never going to get anything out of it well they're, more just like not being okay like making a joke out of everything yeah like if yeah. my if my one of my parents died uh-huh. I'd be upset, but I would be the first person to make a joke about how they're dead or something. You know what <laughs> really? I mean? As a defense mechanism, sure. Yeah. I mean, you know? Man. But I think this this movie is like an extreme, you know, version of that. Uh-huh. Is this this guy doesn't know how to be. Maybe he's a little aspy, you know? <laughs> got, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he doesn't know how to, uh, like, function in the real world, so he makes these jokes and, like, does... Because all, all of his interactions are him, like, joking around in his mind. Like, he... But he jokes about the worst shit, like mm-hmm. Nazis, yeah. you know, slaves, it is, It's like rape. just to see how bad it can get. Yeah. Like how, He's just how like, much can I offend these people yeah. that have done nothing wrong yeah. before they... Because that's what amuses him. Like there's one scene he just is just walking and then he comes upon like these like yard workers that are like digging and putting in bushes in these people's yard. Yeah. And he just starts digging and just doing, just working with them, takes the shirt off, starts working. Really? And then the, the owners of the house come talking about the bush. He's like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. You know, uh, my workers are real, real <laughs> hot out here. They keep saying whatever in Spanish. Like He made up a word. <laughs> he, I'm almost I think it's not real not. Spanish. It's <laughs> like, you know, uh, whatever. And uh, they wouldn't just want to go swim in your pool, you know? Keep talking about how they want to just really want to take a dip <laughs> in your pool. Like, I don't know, you know, pub, private property, so... Like, come on, come on, come on, oh my God, let's go have a dip, <laughs> have a dip in the pool. And they're like, yeah, okay, sure, I guess. Uh-huh. And then When the work's done, they make sure. Yeah, they make sure, when, when, yeah. when the work, when they're done with the work, you're going to mow, right? Like, when the work's done, they can go <laughs> swim. Because this is like a bunch of Mexican yeah. workers. Yeah. Probably don't speak English. Yeah, they, yeah. I'm sure they don't, because otherwise they would have put yeah. their heads up, like, yeah. why are you saying that? Because the guy, <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, he comes there and the, he knows the worker and the guy just looks at him and just like gives him a what's up, and that's it. And but uh, then he's like unamused with it. He thought it was gonna go differently or something. Yeah, and he just yeah. like puts his shirt back on and just walks away while they're staring. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, he still left a pretty weird situation. I like to imagine that the wealthy couple 
got out a bunch of towels. Yeah. And <laughs> Is that okay? they like they hand them to the the gardeners when they're all done. <laughs> like what for the, the fuck day. are you talking about? And like about? lead them to the pool. Maybe they give them like a couple of water wings too. <laughs> <laughs> Make them some lemonade or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought that, yeah. But so he just goes through life just trying to be amused. Yeah. And they have these parties. The opening scene is like slow motion like him and his friends like naked and pouring beer in each other and like smacking each other's ass. Spitting, they spit beer <laughs> spitting at each, beer each other. At each yeah. other. Wow. And it's like There's a, a lot it's of like dicks. a big party. Yeah. You see Tim Heidegger's like cr- scrunched up dick. Wow. And yeah. it's just like weird and there's like a bunch of people it's a party of the girls watching and stuff and they're just wow. like it's just weird. Okay, so I imagine you know have you seen a Requiem for a Dream? You yeah. described it to me a lot. I still haven't seen it. Okay, well there's the scene where uh mm, she's at the party with all the rich people and, like, doing the sex acts and stuff. Yeah. And then they're, like, ass to ass with the double dildo, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? No. She's, like, doing fucking... She's, like, doing live sex with another girl. Are you sure this is for a It's Requiem rec- rec- for a Dream, yes. Yeah. And, um... She's, like, just doing money because she's a, they're addicted to heroin. That's the whole movie, mm-hmm. you know, uh-huh. she's, like, making money. Yeah. And But I imagine those guys doing that are, are these guys. Yeah. Like, before they're old. <laughs> you know, like, they're just doing any... Because they're I wealthy and they mean, can yeah. do anything they, they just want. want people to do... To, because they can. And he can, mm-hmm. they, there's a theme of... Um, he's at a, at a party with a girl, talking to this girl about... Uh, she, they start talking about, like, socialism or something, and... He's talking about, well, he's not a socialist, but, like, blah, blah, blah. He believes that, you know, some people are, are just, you know, better than other people. And <laughs> Like, what if some people just couldn't reproduce? And Doesn't he say something like that? I don't know. He's like, some people just deserve to be better. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a race <laughs> thing. Some black people deserve to be, you know, better than white people. It's just like, you know, natural selection or whatever. But he was saying, <laughs> saying it like... But the the whole there's a theme like they're in a taxi, and they want they want music to be played. Yeah. And the guy's like, no, no music. And he's like, we deserve music. They like to start making this song like hip hop, hip hop. It's Tim Heidecker <laughs> and Eric Wareheim making mm-hmm. up a fucking weird song. Yeah. And he keeps saying like, we deserve to listen to music. There's a whole theme <laughs> of like deserving because yeah. he's been so deluded by yeah. having money and having whatever he wants. Yeah. That he he feels like he deserves these things. So when people aren't reacting to him, he's like a spoiled kid. Like, yeah. you're not, like, I deserve, I deserve, I deserve to the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing, it's like entitlement. Do you think this movie, like, it sounds to me like uh, as wordless as, like, some of Louis C.K.'s episodes and sure. sort of, like, uh, self, self, uh, not reflective, but, like, I guess he's doing a personal project. I'm guessing Tim, right? No, this has. He, this he is, didn't, it's not his movie. Directing. It's a director and writer, and the guy wanted them to be in this movie. Yeah, I see. He had him in mind, maybe. Okay, I see. Yeah, it has nothing to do with him, but he definitely. It's definitely like. Yeah. A weird thing, but not like it's not absurd. Uh huh. It seems like this could really be the way people are. Yeah. Some yeah. people just because yeah. he's the weird one. Everyone else is like a normal. The, his group of friends that are fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, a really good scene where they, they're fucking around in the church, too. I like oh, that. really? Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, like, go around to the prayer candles and blow each one out individually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they make wishes? They call it, like, magic or something. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. It was... But there, it, oh, my God. there's, like, um, somebody referred to it as, like, a... What was it? I pulled up the IMDb. But it's just like, a, it's like commentary. It's like fucking social commentary yeah. for sure about mm-hmm. a generation of fucking these jaded fucks that uh-huh. we're a part of. Yeah. We're well, I mean, I can, I can agree with that. There's a lot of people, like, I I had this weird feeling when we were camping, uh, like me and my friends a little bit ago, that everyone needed to be entertained at every moment. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, how about... um. We just sit here and know what it's like to not have something going on at every moment. Mm-hmm. And I felt comfortable. I don't know if everyone else felt comfortable, but I I get that feeling sometimes when a lot of uh, a lot of like my friends and people I know, they're like, "This is boring," and I I don't know. Like this, it I think that phrase has to be connected to our generation. Oh and sure. In order for someone else 
in like maybe my dad's generation to say they're bored, that's that's a special kind of like observation. Like maybe nothing has happened for like the past couple years in that person's life, and they're saying I'm bored because I'm stuck in this town, not because for the past five minutes I haven't had something in my stomach or on my face or like involving my. Whoa, dick. whoa! What do you want in your stomach or on your face? <laughs> On my face, uh, actually, I don't know. On my face was very weird. I can't even think of But I understand what you're saying. I feel like face. we're the first generation to, to be... This, like, we have discontent. Like, yeah. yeah, and there's so much stuff around us all the time, yeah. uh-huh. whether it be, you know, technology or just going out in the world. There's so mm-hmm. much shit to be... Yeah. Even if it's just, like... But, like, going out in nature, it's like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. We gotta look at the fire. <laughs> We're just going to stare at it wordlessly. And, and even if you're sitting by a fire, like, and that's what you're doing, you're still, like, drinking beer yeah. or something. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. not like you're just It's not like you're just, like, the there. Yeah. Or, like, in even having conversations, necessarily. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I would have to. I need a fucking beer. If we're going to go camping, the reason I'm going to go camping uh-huh. is to get drunk in the woods. Yeah. No, you we know? did that. Like, that's why we people that. yeah. and light some shit on fire and, you know. I Whatever. shouldn't throw my friends under the bus. They weren't actually like that. It's just I have had that experience with some people where we're doing something that people used to do all the time. It's like tr- it's like time-tested fun, and uh, they are unamused by it, and they need to just like move on with it. Fishing's yeah. a, another, a good example. Some people, not a lot of my friends, but some people I know cannot fish because they're like, this is fucking stupid. Well, I think that's always been the case with fishing. Yeah, some people... Fishing some some people a lot of waiting around. Yeah. While others find it relaxing and meditative. That's true. I get annoyed sitting, just like sitting. I get fucking anxious and like, I gotta do something. So you're exactly who we're talking about, is that? Well, but like, (laughs) I just want to like paint or like Uh draw or like watch something or like just talk to somebody. But like sitting in silence? No, who says we're sitting in silence? That's not the thing. Like, if if I'm, obviously if you're fishing by yourself, I mean, hopefully you're sitting in silence. Uh, Although you're not like yelling and like doing, you're standing you're just relatively trading, you're still. Just, you're just trading stories and it's like. It's exciting though. Like I feel like if you get a bite, mm-hmm. even if you don't get the fish, it makes it a lot more exciting. Yeah, it does. It's like I don't know, like playing gambling. It's like you get a little you taste. Win a, you win a few bucks and you get the taste. You're like, oh yeah, this mm-hmm. is, see, this I could get really. I fun. hate yeah, gambling yeah. because it's like, wait, I'm gonna spend my money and I'm probably gonna lose it yeah i get nothing you get out of that honestly imagine spending the money on drugs and the adrenaline you get from gambling is like the effect of that drug okay but that's not gonna happen because i'm really? gonna go into each gambling thing like i'm probably gonna lose this i had this money yeah. i would rather just keep it and not do this well, and I'm buy not, some drugs i'm not defending <laughs> gambling but I, i'm just saying I'm, that i realize that i'm weird yeah. And I don't, I don't get gambling. I don't get it. I don't yeah. understand. You also didn't it. get swimming when we were talking about it that one. I time. don't like or swimming. Dancing. I don't like swimming. Have you swum? Yeah, I can swim. I swam in the ocean a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> but just now, it's like swam. I could be doing anything else. Oh, so I'm supposed to get wet in this fucking bucket? It's, it's not a bucket. It's, it's a giant bucket of water. It's and you life. get in there and you float. I don't think I a like... A giant bucket actually... I think as I'm talking, I think I realize <laughs> I don't like relaxing. Yeah, you don't. I dislike relaxing mm-hmm. because... Not because I... I mean, I like to relax, but whenever I'm relaxing, I always feel guilty and like, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. I should you know be doing I know something, something else. like that. It's to the point where when they're sitting down, not doing anything, sort of like what I would call relaxing mm-hmm. and just sort of like enjoying my own thoughts... That's when they start thinking about very bad stuff that they've probably been avoiding for a long time. Mm. And the, like, brief moment they have to contemplate anything is, like, uncomfortable and it starts bringing up bad things. Therefore, they need to be occupied, blah, 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 with, yeah. like, uh, something. Let's, do, let's go out and do something. Oh, it's fucking... It's, uh, like, it's avoiding, like, avoiding... It's avoiding yeah. just stillness, which is actually so... It actually See, I don't mind stillness, but, like... Because I'll, I'll come up in this room and just, like, sit and, like, just, like meditate not real yeah. meditate but just sit and just be yeah you know really? exactly yeah. sure yeah but yeah. it's usually it's not How because do you do that for you know depends mm-hmm. 20 like, 20 minutes or so okay you just sit here yeah because it's, it's usually if i'm having a real like anxious time or like yeah. frustrated with something mm-hmm. i'll come in not because like well, i'm gonna i'm 
going to come sit and be no- do nothing. I feel like sitting up in the empty room. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually because I'm frustrated with something. Like, yeah. I'm not doing something, and I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. And... I but I'm fucking weird. Yeah, I need mm-hmm. to I need to handle those moments. A lot of that better. comes from my childhood, like anything. You yeah, know, I was called lazy a lot when I was a kid because I didn't want to fucking rake walnuts for all day long. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like I didn't want to do manual labor, so I was lazy. Not I, it I was sucks. the same way. I remember one one time my dad gave me a rake and was like, "Hey, uh, can you?" <laughs> he probably had a long day too. He probably yeah. had. He got back from work. He did chores right when he got back from work. I was playing the whole day. Yeah. And he uh, comes back, hands me the rake, and he's like, hey, can you uh, rake the leaves on the hill? It's a lot of them, but I can't do it. I remember this pretty vividly. And then I start, like, I go up there, and then I start crying. Like, not not like, boo-hoo, I'm sad. Like, fuck this. I should not be fucking raking. Yeah, this huh? is bullshit. And I think I used the phrase, my life is a lie, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a lie, and I didn't, I didn't end up finishing it, and I think my dad had to finish it. And I can't imagine being yeah, that person good. again, but yeah. I was definitely that person. See, I definitely point. threw those tantrums and shit, but yeah. I would, my mom would just be like, I'm going to lock the door until you're done. Yeah. And sorry. That's the best. You got to do it. And in hindsight, I really like, I, like, I was learning a lesson. Yeah. You know, and I was like, I'm glad I had those, but now I yeah. feel, like, bad about doing nothing. I see. You know? I see. I think that's some deep-seated shit. A lot of yeah. people. But well, I, I just try to keep myself busy. Yeah. Like, yeah. if I... I don't like the idle time either. Mm-hmm. Um, I just... I, I'll accomplish something, even if it's, like, cleaning the kitchen counter, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's something. See, I always yeah. find myself, like, sitting and, like, wanting to do something, but there's, like, 19,000 things I could do. Yeah. So I get, like, frozen and do nothing. Yeah. It's the same way. Actually, we were talking about that with, like, uh, figuring out, or maybe I wasn't talking about it with you, but figuring out what I'm going to, like, paint or draw. Yeah. When I'm staring at a white, just a blank canvas. Yeah, for sure. I, it's, like, to me, it's, like, it's staring at infinity. Like, everything's possible. Therefore, I'm not going to land on anything. It's, like, yeah. I need some sort of... Uh, limitation or like someone maybe a, a even, spark or whatever yeah, something that is gonna make me more directed instead of just sure. like just this like in every direction in every like three dimensional space my mind's just going and I'm yeah. just like what and the you, fuck you feel anxiety about not doing it and yeah. then when you don't do it you feel like oh, I'm fucking I'm the worst yeah I'm fucking up. what am I doing with my life I might as well quit yeah this is pointless yeah that's how I feel at least yeah. If you're not thinking that every time you sit down to paint, you're not an artist. Yeah, and then yeah, exactly. And then when I'm doing it and wasting and doing it, I'm like, I'm wait. This is a wait. No one's gonna see this. Yeah. And even if they do, who cares? Uh huh. This is fucking self indulgent yeah. and stupid. Uh huh. So that's where I'm at. Yeah. The thing that I'm most passionate about and makes me happiest also makes me the opposite of those things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's balance though. That's, that's my whole life. That's balance. If you this me. has yeah. gone. Off the rails. Yeah. But I think that's fine because... The movie... There wasn't... It's not, it's not much movie to talk about, I guess. I just wanted to watch it because I wanted other people to watch that movie. Yeah, I, I really wanted other people to watch it, too. Yeah, yeah. like one other person. <laughs> like, at least just one other person to watch it. You know what? Actually, have I ever watched any of the movies you told me to watch? I don't know if I have. I, I think know. I've avoided you're, every You're suggestion. a bad friend, I guess. <laughs> you told me to watch Daredevil, which I still I go out of my way to tell my friends things because I think they'll like them. <laughs> Not because I just like, like to blow hot air. I mean, you know? we all like to blow hot air, but I think, I think it is my fault, obviously, that I haven't watched the movie. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's no one. It wasn't a conscious. <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't a conscious decision though. I wasn't like fuck that. Dude, when I what happened the movie. this morning when you were? When it's too pity. You had to be here when I when I woke up. Uh, I woke up at like eleven thirty, and then I was like, I "Me too." Heard and all the guess texts. what I did? I woke up and watched the movie immediately because <laughs> I was like, "Oh, we started at one. That's exactly an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Got the time." Yeah, I I woke up, and um, <laughs> what happened was. I saw all your texts, and I was like, okay, I still got some time. So Ignore. I dozed off. I, yeah, I dozed off a little bit. Woke up at 12.15, went to the shower. While I was in the shower, I was like, all right, so we're talking about the comedy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't watched it. Oh, I was supposed to do it last night. And then immediately after, I was like, yeah, whatever. It'll be funny. Oh, well, it fucked up because we do, if we did it yes, 
we're supposed to do it tomorrow. That's, I think, yeah. in my mind, my I had to jot it down for Monday. Now. In my yeah. brain, I was like, you know, Monday night. Me too. Yeah, and if you're all wondering why we're talking about waking up around 11 or 12, mm-hmm. it's because we all work together at a restaurant. Yeah, it's yeah. called Gerald Sandwiches. Yeah. I wish it was. It is. It is. Wait, we can't actually we're say not, the name. The name of our restaurant is Gerald Sandwiches. Yeah. We can't say the name of the real restaurant. Well, I, I mean, I would we ever not. expect someone to listen to this. And also, that allows us to say fucked up shit about it. And <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. Like, not that we will, because that's not. This is not the place. Because it's a beautiful place to work. It's a beautiful. Yeah. Listen, I mean, we at least met. We at least all met there. Yeah. Hey, I wouldn't yeah. have any friends in this city if it weren't for Gerald Sandwiches. Yep. So, that's something good. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have any money either. I wouldn't have any money. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. okay. Hey, wait. Uh, so, before we end this. Yeah, well, first of all, you got to give us the clues. I'm just, I, I remember okay. that. All right. What was about to come in my mouth was that uh, I'm about to give you guys the clues. Is there a theme song for this, too? Why are you touching the keyboard? Yep, there is now. The guessing game. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Just no, keep it's, talking. Act like talk what? I'm not okay. I'm not going to sing this for you. If you want to play music over, no, no, just talk, keep going. That's keep totally going. fine. That's yeah. fine. Just act like I'm not here. Okay. Anyway, uh, so this movie, in in like I guess the spirit of the comedy, uh-huh. this is also a dark comedy. That <laughs> You're just, it's not going to work. If you're playing music over me, I'm not going to be able to focus on anything with the music. Okay. Okay, anyway. That was it. That was it. That was it. Okay, so... You're not allowed to touch my keyboard. (laughs) (laughs) I did, though. This is my station. (laughs) Alright, anyway. So, this movie um, that came out... I should probably check that as well. (laughs) Alright, that'll be the last clue. (laughs) I will go back. But, um, anyway... So, both Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson were nominated for Golden Globes. Farrell won the award. Both of these guys are the main actors in this movie. There's also a third main actor. In Bruges. Is it? Because I literally just watched that movie. I literally just watched that movie the other day. Because you know why I watched it? Because it's on my queue for Netflix because someone here told me I should watch that movie. It might be Andrew. I'm going to think it's Andrew. It's Andrew. Because you told us both to watch it, I think. You want me to tell you some trivia about it? Yeah. (laughs) Yes, please. (laughs) Did you know the one guy is Mad-Eye Moody? There That's are mul- not trivia. That's just there are multiple fact. characters, I- actors in that movie that are in Harry Potter. Who oh else? yeah, uh, the other girl other? is Floor, the French. No. Yes. Oh, oh she yeah. is. Yeah, she is. Don't tell me no. About that. Also, Voldemort. Man, we all know yeah. a lot about this. Reese Iffins. Well, it was no. nominated. No, no, for, no. Ralph Fiennes. Yeah, Ralph Fiennes. Yeah, yeah. He, it was weird, nominated man. for best. Screenplay, I think. Yeah. Was we can straight up do it right now because I just watched it like four days ago. <laughs> should, we, should we do a review of In Bruges? No, we can't, can't skip ahead. Then what are we going to do for next week? No, yeah. listen, I'm, I have another movie and I'm. G- <laughs> that's it? That's the movie, man? Dude, that's a good movie. It is good. It's great. Just because you guys guessed it super easy doesn't well, smirch the movie. It's like itself. one of my. I, Favorites. So. I love that movie. It's yeah, right. and like I said, so I good. watched it because you suggested I should see it. <laughs> I thought it was long enough. I'm a good friend. That clue, just naming the actors. I guess I should have shouldn't have named the actors. That was Colin like, Farrell just away. in my head, and I was like, that I was the first movie. Yeah, I, I just watched away. the True, De- True Detective yeah. finale. I fucking I I chose the wrong the clue to give you guys because I was just giving <laughs> you the actors' names. <laughs> We're just really good at guessing. I guess you're so. just bad at it. You know what? I didn't even know that guy's name was Brendan. I didn't either. Gleason. Brendan then, Gleason. Like, I was just going to run through Colin Farrell movies. <laughs> yeah. That was just the first one because it was the first one. Shit. All right. I guess that's a general rule. Do not mention actors. You can names. you can go ahead and say some more trivia about it. I'd like to hear. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let me uh, let me find my place. If I... If I, I you got the IMDb it. app or what are you doing? Um. Yeah, IMDb app. This is the hardest hell to work. We should get sponsored by IMDb. We can't get sponsored by IMDb because they... Are, I think you're shooting a little high. Yeah, I was about to say. Listen, shoot for the stars, hit the clouds. <laughs> um, yeah. In this situation, I think we're better off starting with a lower... A sponsor, maybe local. Maybe uh, Gerald Sandwiches would sponsor yeah, us. Probably. Damn it. Right, no, they don't me, want us to sponsor us. Think <laughs> maybe we could get 16-bit to sponsor us. We could do a live podcast at 16-bit one day. Yeah, that'd be great. They're into stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're certainly in the stuff. Or like Gateway. Maybe we could do a thing at Gateway once we get huge. That's not bad. That's not a bad idea. Because they're into independent um, stuff. Yeah. And they're like non-profit. 
And well, they're subsidized by the university or something. Oh, yeah. Recently, yeah. I think so. And yeah, they they like have like art shows and stuff there that are like movie based, which could also be. Well, we were talking about watching a Miyazaki film there. Oh yeah, you know what? On the twenty fifth, let's do that. Well, I can do that now because I work during the day. Oh yeah, fuck you. On Tuesday. Mm Mm-hmm. Fuck I think it's the twenty fifth. What about? Oh, is that the only? If they do it in one day. Yeah. Well, I did originally. I requested to have it during the day, to re- work during the day, so we could go see it at night. Oh. Uh, well, see? maybe we could. Uh, I'm free Tuesday nights. You're not. I'm not. So I'll have to. You call can switch up. with someone or something. Maybe. I honestly, I really want to not. Well, we work can worry about anymore. this. Uh, yeah, this is not podcast fodder. Yeah, it is. It's really not. our lives. We'll, we'll plan. We, we might watch a Miyazaki film in theaters. Yeah. Together. All right. So trivia about in Bruges. Uh, trivia about no trivia about Miyazaki. All yeah. right. I'm gonna choose a Miyazaki film. That's a big hint. All right. I'm gonna choose okay. a vet, but I'm I am guessing you will not have seen this one. All right. Porco Rosso. <sighs> that was honestly gonna be it too. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the box set of all of them. So I've seen them all. <laughs> Well, I, just pick the one that the least amount of people. Have yeah, seen. that's yeah. what I was gonna do. And the I haven't jury, seen that this one. fucking freak. Well, I haven't damn. seen that one. You haven't seen it. Well, no. the one that's playing on the twenty fifth is Spirited Away, which Spirited is probably away. the best one. No, not the best one. It it's, might be. It's a. It's, it's cool, the. It's, it's the, the most, coolest looking it's one. The, the best produced and most like well funded, perfectly executed one. But story and story. And plot. I think Princess Mononoke is the best one. I think it is okay. too, actually. Yeah. Well, I guess Howl's Moving Castle is also is probably my favorite, but I like I think Spirited Away is the best one. I think the plot of Howl's Moving Castle is a little convoluted. Yeah, I mean, it's a little that. it's a little melodramatic too. Well, sure, but it's a fucking anime movie, dude. I know, I know. Melodramatic but is an irrelevant yeah. term when it no, comes to No, no, I mean, Miyazaki films, though, set a new standard. That was the one that, like, felt like an anime, I guess, a little bit. That's good. Every other, I every like other that. one had, like, a very connectable... I, I like anime because they're fucking ridiculous. Really? Yeah. That's the exact reason I hate them. When they're... Well, I like... And I know Michael hates me for this reason, but I hate Attack on Titan so much because... I'm not, like, I don't, haven't even watched it all. I just thought it was pretty good. It's crazy. It's so weird and cool. <laughs> I love it. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's like <laughs> it's not I cool, I remember man. I remember wanting to do that when I was 5 years old like just you know be able to fly and like fucking hack things and I remember racing up the stairs one time thinking that like I was being tied like carried up by like a zip line I just shot like Spider-Man. That's yeah. what I feel like the whole purpose of making that that show was was just the woo we're teenagers we can do anything and we oh can- shit I my leg's say, gone. Have you watched it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have. Okay. I really have. I know that. I thought it was I know that, scary. Ooh, big there surprise. There was like a yeah. decent amount of terror. Elements. The terror. The terror was just from the sheer gore, I guess. Like the well, in the gigantic naked people. Gigantic people. naked <laughs> grinning <laughs> people. Alive. Grinning idiots. Yeah. yeah. Listen. I don't know. Like it just did not. That's fine. There's too. There was too much of that kid screaming and crying in every dialogue. He'd never had a line delivery that wasn't. <laughs> no! Because it's what's it? It's <laughs> Japanese anime, dude. It's like heightened. It's yeah. I mean, I it's too much. I mean, have you seen Dragon Ball Z? I have. I that's really all have. of the episodes, and that's is, actually why. <laughs> I know, and I used to like that. Like I said, like no, no, you're gonna stop right there before you say anything bad about Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball, no. Yeah, Dragon Ball was so different. good. Sure. Dragon Ball Z, so popular. All right, so I guess this is a lackluster, full mm-hmm. of nothing. Well, well, when you say it like that, well, maybe if everyone did the did the homework, you I know, did the homework, man. You're like the kid in the group, like a group project that didn't do. Yeah. Didn't do anything. It's like my worst nightmare. Except and then, a, and then you get an A, but it has nothing to do with you. So mm-hmm. yeah, great. Yeah. You're that guy. Thanks. All well, of our we are going to watch. We are going to watch a movie, but we just don't know what it is yet. It's going to be a big surprise. What are you talking about? It's in Bruges. I'm fine with watching in Bruges. Oh, we are. Okay, you guys are done chastising. Sweet. All right, we're watching in Bruges. I liked it. I mean, it was my. Favorite. I mean, I uh, yeah. I don't even have to watch it. Yeah, because I already just, did. We just <laughs> done this go. All right, so we all did the homework already. We're assured for next week, unless okay. I somehow get amnesia. Which would be a very interesting podcast. It's the heck club for Andrew. <laughs> Does 
haven't watched a movie. Haircut for Andrew. He didn't watch the movie. <laughs> okay. Bye. What if I did though? Then you did a pretty good job. You're good. You're a good faker. Actor, <laughs> actors. You're a bad actor.